Hello and welcome to the Met Office forecast for the weekend. All change on the weather front this weekend, by which I mean there will be fewer weather fronts. And by that, I mean there will be some showers on Saturday, but Saturday showers give way to Sunday's sunshine with high pressure building in, all courtesy of the jet stream. Now, that jet stream has been really influential in our weather this week. It's been moving across southern parts of the UK, bringing in areas of low pressure, bringing in weather fronts, and there are still some weather fronts and low pressure around as we end Friday. And that means that if you do have any evening plans on Friday, watch out for a few showers across much of the UK, but more prolonged wet weather moving along southern counties of England during the evening, mainly South Devon and South Cornwall. Now, any showers won't be as heavy as the severe storms that we've got across the states at the moment. Why are they important? Because they are nudging the jet stream across the states northwards. And what happens on the other side of the pond often influences our weather downstream because that nudge of the jet stream and then ripples downstream. It dives south over the mid-Atlantic and then we start to see it move north to the west of the UK initially. And when the jet stream moves north of the UK, of course, we do see high pressure building in. So rather than a low latitude jet stream, we've got a high latitude jet stream and high pressure building in for Sunday. But of course, this is Sunday. What about Saturday? Well, let's rewind the clock and we see that the jet stream is still to the south of the UK for Saturday's weather. We're still on the cold side. And with cold air high up in the sky where that jet stream flies around the globe, and with the strong sunshine heating the ground, well, that's a recipe for rising thermals and developing shower clouds and some heavy downpours possible across many parts of the UK, particularly central and eastern Scotland, central and eastern England, parts of Wales. It's western parts of Scotland, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, where we'll see most places staying dry, some sunny spells as well, feeling pleasant enough in the sunshine on Saturday, 15, 16, 17 degrees, but no heat wave because, of course, we're still on that cold side of the jet stream. And being on that cold side of the jet stream means that many places will start off frosty on Sunday morning. These are towns and cities in the countryside, minus two to minus four degrees. Quite a sharp frost for the middle of May. So the high pressure on top of us by Sunday, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be hot because like I say, it's going to be a chilly start. That high pressure building in on top of relatively cold air across the UK. But it's building in nevertheless, and that means light winds for many places at the start of Sunday. And after that frosty start, plenty of warm sunshine. So those temperatures very quickly rising through the morning. And by the afternoon, again, we keep sunny spells, some fair weather cloud building up, thicker cloud there for Northern Ireland. But otherwise, it's a dry, it's a bright day and that sunshine will feel warm. Despite that chilly start, we're looking at 16 to 18 degrees where the sunshine is at its best. So warming up, drying up, settling down over the next few days, courtesy of that high pressure and that jet stream pushing northwards. More details on the weekend weather and into the start of next week can be found on the Met Office social media channels and via the Met Office app. Bye-bye.